Hello everyone, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to talk to you about importing and exporting listing types for My Listing websites. The reasons you might want to import listing types are one, if somebody has already taken the time to fully configure a listing type, and it's a listing type that you're interested in for your own website, by importing that in, you, you just save so much time by not having to do all the fields and the labels of the fields and the, the cover style and the search forms and on and on and on. Um, so it's a really good option there. Just find, find a listing type that you like the looks of that someone's already done and just pull that sucker in and, and off you go. Another reason you might want to do that is if you've exported a listing type of your own that you've been working on for some time you really love it, but you're not sure it's the final answer. So you want to export that to your local hard drive uh, and save it for, for the future. So that's another, another reason why you might be importing listing types. Um, we're going to cover both of those scenarios today, importing and exporting um, pre-configured listing types. Now, out of the box, my listing does include a revision system for listing types. They will save 15 revisions automatically for you and then as the 16th revision comes in it overwrites the oldest one. It's nice that they have that but at the same time it is not the most elegant solution mainly because they don't allow you to label your revisions. So unless you're rolling back from a change that happened you know, 5, 10, 30 minutes ago, maybe even up to an hour, you, it's, it's really hard to remember what it is that you, you changed and what you're, what you're going to be overriding if you import it back in. So in my opinion, a better solution is to export the listing type to your local hard drive and giving, giving it a meaningful label so you can reference it later. Uh, another thing about the revisions is it depending on the number of listing types you have those 15 revisions are going to be stored in your database so if you have 10 listing types times 15 you know those are all going to be stored in your database not a huge hit to your database storage but you know everything adds up so there's actually a snippet in the club for limiting revisions um, to whatever number you would like uh, I typically like to use just five revisions and, and the reason for that is I just I don't really use the revisions for reverting back um, I use I use the ones that I save to my hard drive and label for future use okay so a little less talking on that and we'll, we'll start seeing what this looks like um, if you're a my listing club member you have listing pre-configured listing types available to you uh, those are here under the menu, My Listing Resources. Scroll down to Listing Types. And here we have, currently have nine listing types for you to import. Let's say that you are working on a website and event as a listing type that you would like to have built. So rather, from start, rather than starting from scratch, like I said, you could jump in here and as we see here, the very first one, Basecamp Events Listing Type. Um, quickly that Basecamp is Starter Site 4 which is the new starter site that will be launched pretty soon for the club so this will give you a glimpse into that as well let's go ahead and uh, use this one so we're just going to click on that and if you remember and you were to click download now it's just going to obviously download your machine so you can use it uh, if you want to see what this looks like before you do, you can click the view video and it just kind of runs through what that listing type looks like and how it functions. So I've already downloaded uh, this listing type. So we're going to jump over here to our My Listing Sandbox website and uh, we're going to jump over to Listing Types. If we edit this test listing type that we've, we've set up, it's just a blank listing type. Uh, I lied. I've actually imported. Here, let's just do it. We'll do a new one. So we'll do a new LT. Publish it. 
All right, so now we have a blank slate, blank listing type. We're gonna jump down here on the right-hand side and we're gonna do import config file. Here in our downloads, we see the downloaded listing type from the club, so we're just gonna open that. We wanna to choose to overwrite the configuration. So here we see that even though we've done the import, the listing type name and the slug are still the same, but scrolling down, we see that our events icon has came in, the singular name and plural name. Permalink is still the old slug. So this part is the most important part of this whole process. If you do not see this slug here, make sure you go under screen options and click on this slug box when you're editing the listing type, okay? With that exposed now, we wanna rename our listing type to events or whatever you wanna call it for yourself. Make sure you clear out the slug. This will reset it. So our slug is clear and we like everything else, just click update. So now we see the title's changed, the slug has changed and our permalink, very important, that permalink has changed. Okay, if we click on fields, for example, we see all of the fields pre-configured. So everything down to package visibility, everything, everything is configured according to this particular website. All the search forms are set up, you know, all that good stuff, the basic form. So now you just make it your own. Um, put a default logo in there if you want, default cover image. Uh, whatever you want, you're off and running. Saves, saves a ton of time. On the right-hand side, here we see previous revisions. These were the revisions I was talking about. And you will, depending on how many changes you, you make, you'll see up to 15 revisions stored here. On the, and they actually tell you right here. We'll store up to 15. Okay, so let's say that you you really like the listing type you've built, you've been rolling along for a while, and you, you're 90% sure that the listing type is the one that you're gonna have when you launch your website. But you have a little bit of doubt, that 10% doubt. So what you do is jump, just jump over here to export config file. Go to your downloads folder. And here we have the exported listing type. It's just going to pull in your listing type name and then the date of the export. This doesn't really mean a whole lot. So like a week or a month or whatever, two weeks down the line, you're not going to know what changes were in this. So what you'll want to do is just rename this file or put it in a folder or however you like to organize your stuff. But I would just append something to the end of it like events, um, cover, style, X, Y, Z. Okay, leave the date in there if you want. The, the actual date will be actually on the file name uh, underneath on your, on your desktop too, so, or your workstation. So not a big deal if you leave the date in there, but we'll just go ahead and leave the date in there. You know, So there we go. So it's just like we showed you before on the import, you know, you. You, you go two weeks down the line, you're like, ah, I just I want to start over with that baseline that I really liked, that 90% baseline. You just do the same process. Jump over here, import config file, you know, pull in this back up, choose to overwrite, and off you go. You know, be, because it already had the slug and the name that you liked, you're 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 good to go. The alternative is, the alternative is if you look over here to your revisions. Yeah, I mean, they just roll back, but you don't know what you're rolling back to, so. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, another benefit that comes to mind to doing this is if you build multiple websites for yourself or for a client, you know, just like I've done in the club, make these pre-configured listing types, um, use them for yourself, use them for your clients, you know, whatever, but uh, just, Pretty cool feature, pretty easy stuff. Um, as always, feel free to jump in the club's Facebook group and ask any questions you might have or uh, use the chat here on the uh, My Listing Club website and let me know if I can help. Okay, bye-bye.